How to Draw Hands, a tutorial by Lily Williams. Hands are arguably one of the hardest things to draw. They can be weird and ugly, and if you mess up, it can make your whole drawing look like a total disaster. But I have a life hack for you that will make it a lot easier. It's the bean and potato hack. To start your hand drawing, you are going to want to make either a bean or a potato, depending on how your hand is placed. The bean can be a hand that is open or a hand that is on its side, and the potato will be a hand that is mostly closed. So you can see here what I'm doing with the bean shape is that I'm blocking in the hands. Obviously I can see that the bean is not the exact shape of the hands, but what it does is these shapes provide a guideline in which I can block in the fingers. We know the middle finger is larger than the rest of the finger, so we make sure that there's a curve so that the middle finger is the largest. You can see where the anatomy is when you block in the fingers. For instance, when I'm cleaning it up right now, I'm blocking in the digits of the fingers where I know that there are straights and there are curves. This can be a way to draw anatomically correct hands if that is your thing. Um, my style is pretty cartoony, so this is a way that I figure out how to draw cartoony hands by making them into one fluid shape. Using this exact same bean shape, I make a different and more complicated hand. By adjusting the pinky and the thumb, it maintains the overall designed silhouette, even though it's a different hand pose. Using the bean and potato as a silhouette guide, I am able to make a hand that not only reads in the pose I intend, but is also designed well. Because I am using shape language instead of just drawing a posed hand, it makes my drawing designed. This is something that the viewer might not consciously understand while seeing your drawing, but it does make the hand pose read in an appealing way. When creating characters, even small details like hand design are important. An example of this type of hand design would be how the hands in Mulan are different than the hands in Frozen or in Kim Possible. The cool thing about using the bean and potato shape to start your hand drawings is that you can draw them in different ways. So you can use it to draw a fist for the potato, or you can use it to draw a pointer, or maybe that someone's flipping you off, but it's a great start to the shape language that could be a hand. For instance, in this one, I did a different type of potato shape, something that's a little bit more like a red potato or um, a funny looking Yukon gold, and I turned the bean shape shape on its side. If you want to get into more of the anatomy, you can go in and start blocking in where certain muscles are. You can also use hands for reference even while using this shape. So if you're using the shape and you have a reference drawing ahead of you, you can draw the details and the digits and the muscles and all those details that might be in the reference drawing using the shape as a basis to make the drawing more completely designed. In this, I'm trying to make the hands a little bit more detailed than I might normally do it. Um, it's not my strong suit, but... So I'm doing one more layer on top of this drawing than I did in the other ones to make it a little bit more detailed and finessed. So whether it be a bean or a potato or even something more complicated like a triangle, you can use shape language to plug in different sorts of features like hands and feet to make it so it looks like a designed part of your character instead of just a drawn part of your character. This will make your character a little bit more sophisticated. This tutorial felt kind of silly to even make because it makes drawing hands so easy and it is so incredibly simple. But um, now that you've learned this, I hope that it makes drawing hands fun for you and not a stressor. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my tutorials. You can follow me online at LWBEAM.